guys, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us today on Make It With Mod Podge. Steve has a really fun project to share with you. I know you've probably seen all sorts of paint pouring techniques. It's been such a hot trend. Well, we're gonna show you today how you can do paint pouring with extreme glitter Mod Podge and food coloring to create this really cool artwork for your walls. So Steve, are you ready to do it? Kathy, thank you for that introduction. I am really excited to show you guys how to make this tie-dye artwork right here. And all this is is a canvas, extreme glitter, Mod Podge, and food coloring to create this. It's really easy to do. Um, so let's get started, very simple. The first thing you're gonna want is your canvas. Now we're doing this on a 10 by 10, but you can do it on a 12 by 12, any type of canvas works on this. You just want to make sure you have enough extreme glitter to cover the entire canvas. And the first thing is get your canvas and then we're going to be using food coloring for this project. We're doing everything from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. The rainbow. So the tie-dye rainbow we're going to be doing uh, right on top of a piece of canvas. So you want to make sure you have as many cups as you do colors. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six colors. So we're going to do six different cups. Move this aside and I'm going to pour, put my cups out in a row here so you guys can see this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to be pouring about an inch of extreme glitter right into each one of these cups. Let's take a look at this extreme glitter. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a silver bottle and this is loaded with little glitter inside of it. So this is what gives it that sheen and that shine that you guys see on top of that canvas. And we're going to pour this right on in and this is going to about, about an inch or so up because each one of these is going to be part of a color scheme. So let's say this one's going to be red. This one's going to be our orange. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And then we're going to go into the yellows. Then we have our green. Okay, need another bottle. So this project does take, um, you know, as much as big as your canvas is gonna hold. So just make sure you have enough of that. So if you do a smaller canv canvas, you're obviously gonna need less, less of the extreme glitter. And then here's our last one. So these are our six colors. Okay, there we go. So this is an, an exact science, and I'll show you if, just in case if you don't have, if you're like missing some, you're gonna be able to just add right to that, so don't worry. So here's our colors. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do the red, then the orange, here we, then the yellow, then the green, then the blue, and then the purple. Okay, now I wanna make sure you guys, this is the deal with the food colorings. It's really good to do a test first because it's like the red, you don't need that much. If you do two drops of red, it's gonna turn almost black. So you only need one drop of the red, uh, I mean, one drop of the red, and we're gonna be doing different formulas for each color. So I'm gonna tell you what I like to do and how I use it with this much Mod Podge. So I'm just gonna add one drop of the red. That's it, that's all you're gonna need. I'm gonna stir that up to show you. If you add too much of the red, it's because the pigment is so strong, it's gonna turn black once it dries. Even though it might look red on the canvas, it'll dry really dark. So make sure you only have one drop of the red going down. There's only a couple of them that I'm going to be doing two drops. Okay. 
There we go, let me grab my towel here. Then I like to clean it off. I have a rag that I use. Just wipe that off and we're gonna move on to the orange. The orange is also just gonna take one drop because it's also a strong color. There we go. We're gonna stir that up. So extreme glitter and food coloring make great art, guys. Give that a stir. Yellow, one drop of yellow. And again, this is just regular food coloring mixed in with our extreme glitter. Stirring that up. Make sure you get it nice and stirred up. Get all that extreme glitter Mod Podge mixed in with the food coloring. Okay. I wipe off after each one. The green is also one drop. Come on, green. There we go, oop, okay. So there's the green, one drop of green. Gonna mix that up. Okay. Good. Now with the blue, I'm adding two drops. Now again, this is a test that I've done, so I know that the blue I like the color of the blue with two drops of food coloring in there. It gives it a darker blue, not so much of a, a, a baby light blue. This is more of a royal blue that it comes out. So that's why I add two drops in here. And we're gonna do the same with the purple. Here's our last one. The purple, I'm gonna put two drops in. There's one, and there's two. Okay. And again, the purple, it looks blue, guys, but it's not. It's funny how this works. The, the purple is a, um, it mixes blue with the extreme glitter, but trust me, it will dry purple. Okay, so there are our colors. Look at those pretty rainbow colors, the pretty tie-dye colors. We are ready to move on to the next step. Food colorings. And we're gonna put these on the side right here. And I'm gonna bring over my tray and my canvas. So here's the tray I like to use. Now this is a great this is just kind of a roasting pan that you can either get at the dollar store and the regular stores. I like to use these because they catch all the mess. They're super cheap and they work really well. Now this is a project where you're going to want to, once you start, you don't want to move this around. You're just going to keep it. So make sure you have it in a area, in a place that you can let dry because this is going to take about two days to dry, a day and a half to two days to dry. So once you do this, you're just gonna leave it alone. Don't do any movement because there's no rotating or anything because you do not want it to uh, bleed. So um, I really suggest working into one of these roasting pans. They're inexpensive and they work really, really well. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our Mod Podge, our Extreme Glitter, and the first row that I want to do is going to be directly across this bottom part. So we're going to be doing the extreme glitter, color, extreme glitter, color, extreme glitter. And you want to pour this straight across. Just like so. And you can see why you want to use the pan because it will flow over. Then I'm gonna take my red, here's my red color. This is my next one. And you're gonna do a line of your red directly across. Now, you don't wanna go on top of it, but you just wanna make sure it touches. A nice thick layer, just like that. 
Next, you're gonna do the your extreme glitter once again. And we're gonna move directly across it, making sure it touches. A nice thick layer, straight across. And then move on to your next color, which is orange. You want to make sure they touch each other because this is what's going to give you your rainbow tie-dye effect and they're going to bleed together really pretty. Okay, now we're going to work with the yellow. Here goes the yellow. Okay, here it is guys. This is all my colors down and my extreme glitter. So remember, it's extreme glitter in with uh, food coloring. And here is my display. So as let me show you, let's recap really quickly. It is extreme glitter, the plain, then my food and coloring, the red, extreme glitter, orange, and so on and so forth, all the way across the board. So now this is where we're gonna give you these lines. Let me show you. So these lines that we made here are very, very easy to do. Um, it's just using a skewer like this right here. And I'm gonna be going up and down the canvas. And um, let's show you right now, it's very simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag from right in the middle here. I'm going to drag all the way across and down. And you can see that the colors are going into one, one another. And there's my first row. Really important, take your skewer and you're going to want to wipe that off. So I have my old art rag here. Wipe that off because you don't want the colors to bleed together. Then from this end, I'm going to do the opposite direction. So you can choose how far apart you want these lines to go. You're just going to drag this right back up the opposite direction. Make a straight line, straight as you can. There you go. And then again, wipe your skewer off and work down in the opposite direction. So it's just a back and forth motion. Just like that, back and forth, back and forth. And this is gonna give you those amazing lines. This way. And then one more. And there we have it. Take a look. There you go. So now this is still obviously super, super wet. And this is going to take about a day and a half, guys. It's going to take about a day and a half. You do not want to move this. I mean, of course you can pick it up and carry it somewhere else, but you do not want to move this. 
You don't want it to shift, you don't want it to bleed together because the way it is right now is where it's going to, the way it's gonna dry. Just another quick note, if you have a couple air bubbles in there, just take a pin, pop those air bubbles, and those will come right out. Usually when it dries, those air bubbles will go away, but just in case, you wanna pop those air bubbles before. And this is your end result. Take a look at that. And look at how sparkly and shiny that is, and all that glitter that comes from the extreme glitter and from the food coloring. And here is our end result, our tie-dye artwork on top of a piece of canvas using extreme glitter and food coloring. So thanks for joining me, and don't forget to hashtag Mod Podge and Plant Crafts and send us what you guys make. We'd love to see it. See you guys next time. Bye.